Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining our annual Lone Pine Recognition Award Ceremony. There's a little bit of an asterisk with annual. This is actually the second year in COVID that we're doing this, but last year we didn't have a ceremony. We had hoped to be able to invite all of the 2019 award recipients to an actual ceremony. That wasn't possible because of COVID continuing. So now we're doing this virtual ceremony and recognizing both the 2019 awardees and the 2020 awardees. So thanks to all of you for your patience. We look forward to doing this in person next year. So this is a time when we honor our colleagues for going above and beyond expectations. It's a time to say thank you for their outstanding kindness and generosity, for making a difference in ways that might otherwise go unnoticed, for demonstrating, even on a trying day or trying year, a positive attitude, and in all those ways, embodying the core values of Dartmouth. Today, we will celebrate individuals and teams in the following categories, unsung hero, collaboration, innovation, passion and commitment, leadership, and our newest award for 2020, diversity and inclusion. We will also be honoring our flagship Sheila Culbert Distinguished Employee Award recipients. Each of our honorees will be receiving a monetary award as a thank you for their outstanding accomplishments, but they'll also be receiving a little something extra. All recipients will also receive an engraved bowl from Simon Pierce as a token of our appreciation and a memento for this achievement. Now, I'd like to turn it over to President Hanlon. Greetings. Let me be among the first to congratulate all of our 2019 and 2020 Lone Pine Excellence Award winners. When we established these awards in 2018 to recognize the extraordinary work of Dartmouth staff, we couldn't have imagined how heroically you'd rise to the challenge of these past two years. One, of course, featured a year-long celebration of our 250th anniversary that involves so many on campus. And the other brought with it a global pandemic, the magnitude of which none of us have experienced in our lifetimes. Throughout these highs and lows, you outdid yourselves, and it's an absolute privilege to celebrate and honor you today. I'm especially pleased that the Lone Pine Excellence Awards garnered an astounding 250 nominations this year, more than double the number we saw in 2018. Nominations came from supervisors and subordinates, board members and department chairs, current colleagues, as well as former ones. To me, it speaks volumes about the ability of our staff both to support and to lead and these two attributes make for truly exceptional colleagues. So on behalf of all of us in senior leadership, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to all of you, and especially our 2019 and 2020 award winners and nominees. We couldn't have managed through these last two years without you, and I couldn't be more proud. Thanks, President Hanlon. I'm now going to announce the award recipients and then we'll hear a few words from their colleagues. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The 2019 Unsung Hero Award goes to Daryl Lawer, Registrar, Thayer School of Engineering. I remember when Daryl started working at Thayer School over 40 years ago as an assistant in Thayer School's main office. She impressed all of us on the faculty with her diligence and her willingness to help faculty and students alike. I have the unique honor of having worked with Daryl in every capacity available at Dartmouth. I benefited from her coordination of majors when I was an undergraduate in the 90s. She helped me organize my graduate work in the 2000s. She shepherded my classes in my first faculty appointment, and now she's my absolute go-to for all things related to running a department. She has become the most knowledgeable staff person, in fact, the most knowledgeable person at Thayer School about all academic requirements and academic matters. And she's always ready to share her knowledge with faculty and students alike. And she does so with a smile. I don't know what I'd do without Daryl's knowledge of the curriculum, the committees on campus, and the history of our program. She delivers critical information within minutes, even on Saturdays, and has an organizational system that has proven infallible. Daryl is one of the main reasons that Thayer School is a very pleasant place to work. 
no small part because she is so nice and helpful and congenial. Her attitude seems to have rubbed off on everyone with whom she's worked. She's a wonderful recipient for the Dartmouth Unsung Hero Award. Daryl, we want to wish you congratulations on receiving the Lone Pine Award. You are certainly our unsung hero. Daryl, you have tirelessly supported the Thayer students, faculty, and staff for 42 years, working diligently and carefully behind the scenes as our unsung hero. Congratulations, Daryl. I can't think of anyone more deserving of this award than you, and we'll miss you so much. You've put your heart and soul into their school for a number of years, and we will sorely, sorely miss you. Congratulations. The 2020 Unsung Hero Award goes to Deirdre O'Donnell, Director, Career Services and Advising, Tuck School of Business. I can think of no one more deserving of this recognition than Deirdre O'Donnell. Deirdre absolutely goes above and beyond the call of duty every day. You are the perfect unsung hero to everyone in our office here at Tuck's Career Services and all of your students and the broader Tuck and Dartmouth community. Deirdre is such a pillar of strength in everything she does. It's an honor to work with her and she always gives 100% of everything she does no matter what she faces. You are up late at night helping students, talking to recruiters, reviewing resumes, reviewing cover letters, helping people strategize, writing notes, doing so many untold things um, that are a direct benefit to the students at Tuck and in turn a huge benefit and model for all of us in the career office. She often works outside her regular hours acting in an on-call capacity to support her advising students taking their calls, texts, and answering emails throughout the weekend and evenings. Thank you for all that you do to contribute to making our workplace so incredibly warm and community-based and for just always going the extra mile to help everyone in our office and in our community and also the students that you work with. She develops close relationships with her students as well as colleagues and despite a heavy workload herself is always willing and offering to help others. There is no job too small for Deirdre. She's even acted as a valet for visiting recruiters who were running late and unable to find a parking spot on campus. She's collaborative, inclusive, and always goes above and beyond and is a quiet unsung hero. Congratulations, Deirdre. She absolutely deserves to be recognized for her dedication through the Unsung Hero Award. You are truly an incredible soul. We are all lucky to know you and I um, am just thrilled to Congratulate you on this award, this very well-deserved award. You are so loved and respected and cherished here amongst all of us. Thank you for everything that you do. The 2019 Collaboration Award goes to Will Cowan, Academic Applications Developer, Information Technology and Consulting. Will brings to the team enthusiasm and knowledge and the ability to teach. And I would say that's sort of his nature, natural inclination is to help other people succeed and learn and become better at, at what they are interested in and what they uh, actually some of them need to know to be able to move forward in their jobs. Will's right there to support them. Will will mentor anyone. He, he's very competent in a lot of topics and but he's he's always humble and when anyone needs help he he's the he'll take the time no matter how busy he is to to help uh, folks out he's willing to step up and help people basically at the drop of a hat and also to be part of a team and what i mean by that is he will do what needs to be done to make that team successful whether it's educating people or doing the actual work that needs to be done he's there with that same level of enthusiasm and excitement and sort of has a little smile all the time no matter if he's working hard or just enjoying teaching someone and it's it's just uh he's a really easy person to be around and i'm glad he's here he doesn't have an ego at all. He's willing to go out and um, learn from other people and, and recognize that. And then also what makes me, what I think of Will is he's he has such a good sense of humor and it's really fun being on meetings with him. 
he'll have different screen savers out of the blue on the Zoom meeting that you'll be, you'll laugh instantly. And, uh, you know, he just is a, a person that when you think about working at Dartmouth, he's a person that it, it's why, why you love to work at Dartmouth. There's a teacher within him who enjoys helping others to learn and grow. Every time in the team, he positions himself to lead the team by being a great role model. We all like you, Will. Thanks for being with us. The 2020 Collaboration Award goes to Erica Lobel, Program Manager, Dolly, Digital Applied Learning and Innovation Lab. Erica's work has been a catalyst for excellence since the minute she arrived on campus. The passion that she shows to her work as a program manager in the Dolly Lab has enabled the lab to flourish and the student members to thrive. From the first conversation that I had with Erica, it was so clear that collaboration was a key part of what she does. She makes sure to source projects for the Dolly Lab that really give students an excellent opportunity for hands-on learning, while at the same time ensuring that the businesses that partner with the lab really have their needs met. Erica is one of the kindest individuals that I've had the privilege of getting to know at Dartmouth. She shows up every day for her people. She puts others first. She's such a wonderful facilitator who's gentle and direct at the same time. I'm consistently amazed by her ability to not only oversee all the projects and administrative happenings of the lab, but also foster meaningful relationships with her students, colleagues, and partners. Erica works beautifully on the staff team, leading us gracefully through a visioning process to craft our mission statement and a set of values, and keeping us all focused and committed to the greater purpose of the Dolly Lab. She makes sure that everyone's heard because she knows that diversity of ideas always leads to richer and more dynamic results. I personally look forward to our conversations because she's a yes and person. She wants to problem solve, she wants to hear how your weekend was and listen to what you're struggling with. While she's sensitive to people's individual comforts and communication styles, she also helps her collaborators think differently and appreciate each other's perspectives as creative assets. I've seen that she cares about every single student that she works with at Dolly. She wants to see them grow, she wants to help them through these difficult times, and her support has really meant the world to me and the students who work at Dolly. We really would not be where we are today uh, without the support of Erica. And I know that we're just one business that's benefit benefited from that collaboration. It's been such a pleasure to work with Erica for all these years at this point, and I'm so happy for her. Congrats. I really could not think of anyone better to be receiving this award. I'm thrilled that she's won this award, that she's being recognized in this way. Congratulations, Erica. Thank you again for uh, all of your collaborative spirit. Thanks. The 2019 Innovation Award goes to Amanda Childress, Associate Director of the Student Wellness Center. Amanda Childress is the gem of Dartmouth. She's spearheading an institutional initiative that is unprecedented in size, scope, and caliber, the Sexual Violence Prevention Project. SVPP is an incredibly important commitment to the betterment of DARPA. The mission of SVPP states sexual violence, as well as the norms and behaviors that perpetuate it, impact everyone's ability to thrive intellectually, socially, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Amanda leads the SVPP team with vision, care, intentionality that all inspires them to do their best work. Amanda encouraged us to focus on messaging to incoming students that promote, promotes behavior and attitudes that reflect what it means to be a member of our community, including full participation in SVP programs. She has a deep commitment to supporting the personal well-being of those around her. She cares as much, and some could argue more, about the people she supervises and works with than the success of the project. In every interaction, Amanda inspires me with her passion, dedication, focus, and sheer energy. Colleagues describe her as having the biggest heart ever, passionate about all she does, thoughtful, giving, willing to go the extra mile, 
empathetic, creative, courageous, kind, the list goes on and on. I have long considered Amanda both a role model and a true educator. I've learned so much from working with her. Her commitment to the betterment of Dartmouth is unwavering, grounded in making sure all students are able to grow and thrive in a positive community where they know they are supported. This energy and vigilance combined with Amanda's joy, deep wisdom, profound knowledge, and ability to create true partnership and collaboration result in a working relationship I cherish. Amanda's monumental work is a testament that she can accomplish what others think is the impossible. And I have every belief that she will continue to astound others in all she does moving forward. Thank you for everything that you've done, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda, for all you do for Dartmouth and our community, and congratulations. The 2020 Innovation Award goes to the Computing Services team, Thayer School of Engineering, including Mark Franklin, Jared Benedict, Ben Servas, Richard Crowley, Matt Daly, Zach Bennis, Daniel Safford, Jane Reynolds, and David Townsend. A big shout out to the Thayer School Computing Services team for the Lone Pine Excellence Award. There is no doubt in my mind that Thayer's computing team should be awarded the 2020 Lone Pine Innovation Award. It's difficult to decide where to start when describing Thayer School's computing team. It's an all-around fantastic team to work with from mundane computer support issues to classroom support to groundbreaking innovations. I'll focus on innovation in these remarks. The computing team is always open, ready, and excited to brainstorm and explore new ideas and solutions. For example, the computing team regularly teaches a winter room Internet of Things class. Why? For multiple reasons. One of them being that by putting themselves into the teacher role, team members can learn what it's like to be in front of a class and thus better empathize with faculty whom they support in their classrooms. I won't go into details on Virtual Couch Lab, since by now everyone probably knows about it. Needless to say, it was made possible by Thayer's computing team. Like all Dartmouth faculty and staff, the team had to pivot to a remote environment last year. They quickly developed resources for instruction, collaboration, and communication to ensure that Dartmouth students continued to receive a high quality education, which at there generally means project-based and hands-on. The computing team not only pivoted, they uniquely excelled at supporting their students, faculty, and staff. Even in the remote environment, the team collaborated, brainstormed, and built consensus around how to move forward. Your team has gone above and beyond this year to meet the needs of our faculty, staff, and students. And you are the reason that our community was so well prepared to tackle the challenge of remote learning head on. In my short time here, I've been impressed with the computing services team and their innovative approaches, working together to solve problems. Congratulations again. Thank you. You are exemplary members of the human-centered community we have at Thayer and Dartmouth, and thank you for all that you do. I am absolutely thrilled that Thayer's computing team is being awarded the Lone Pine Innovation Award 2020. Congratulations. The 2019 Passion and Commitment Award goes to Lisa Meehan, Program Administrator, African and African American Studies. Lisa, congratulations for this well-deserved award. My message is on behalf of all of the faculty, students, and fellows in African and African American Studies. Lisa's excellence with administration and organization are matched only by her integrity and unparalleled empathy. Lisa exudes passion. She expresses commitment in every interaction and no one, whether it be a student or a faculty member or another staff member, walks away from an interaction with Lisa without experiencing her generosity and kindness. All of us have witnessed and indeed benefited from your leadership, creativity, organizational skills, and exceptional work ethics. Lisa epitomizes excellence in all that she does and she inspires us to achieve our goals with some of the same care and precision that she practices. I believe our colleague, Dr. Trika Keaton, captures beautifully our collective appreciation, admiration, and gratitude. And I quote Dr. Keaton. 
Lisa is a cherished, invaluable member of our community whose unwavering dedication to the program and, and its mission is only matched by her integrity, reliability, selfless commitment, kindness, and generosity to the faculty, fellows, and students alike. In short, she's someone whose presence enriches our environment in multiple ways, from her warm greetings to her self-edifying interest in our research and activities, to her extraordinary capacity to anticipate our needs, end of goals. For contributing to our program and to the campus in so many ways, large and small, Lisa Meehan is one of those unsung heroes here at Dartmouth College, who with patience and foresight helps us to do what we do well. And for that, I thank her and on behalf of other AAAS faculty, we thank her. The 2020 Passion and Commitment Award goes to Anne Levanway, Research Support Specialist, Department of Biological Sciences. I cannot imagine starting a lab in the middle of a global pandemic without Anne's help. Anne has seamlessly coordinated lab renovations, outside vendor demonstrations, major purchases, training new lab members on Dartmouth equipment, lab safety, and setting up all manner of accounts required to get this lab up and running. If one just considers one small aspect of the lab reopening worksheet that I had to complete, the section for rooms we needed to access so as to perform research, this alone initially amounted to 13 separate locations with Anne helping to determine the appropriate room numbers and also then making sure that each lab member could access these. And then when it became apparent that additional building accesses were needed, working outside our department to accomplish these. Now consider that Anne was not just assisting my lab group, but the entire department, and one can readily understand what a Herculean task she undertook. She has been the source of advice on everything, from microscope purchasing to local hiking trails. Frequently, Anne has identified solutions for problems before I'm even aware of their existence. And for over two decades, I've observed your commitment to excellence in everything you do to support the faculty, students, and staff. Your commitment and grace under pressure is an example for all of us. Thank you for all that you do to support the life sciences at Dartmouth. In truth, analogies to mythical heroes are entirely appropriate, for Hercules never faced such a daunting labor as that engendered by the pandemic or handled it with more aplomb than Anne. Congratulations, Anne, on your well-deserved Lone Pine Excellence Award. Her enthusiasm for this place is infectious. So thank you, Anne. You deserve this. The 2019 Leadership Award goes to Phil Charbonneau, Senior Work Process Administrator, Work Control Center, Campus Services. Congratulations, Phil. I want to say that Phil um, has to be one of the kindest and smartest people I know. Phil's demeanor is always even. He never gets rattled. Even when multiple people need his attention at the same time, He's extremely patient. I'm so grateful to Phil for his patience and guidance. Um, I started a new role at Dartmouth a few years ago and was suddenly in the middle of facilities and really didn't know what I was doing. Um, he's a rock. He's, he helped me through many panic moments um, when I was new to it all. Phil is always upbeat and calm in the middle of chaos. And he's so very helpful to all of his customers. As Phil's manager, he always performs his duties with a positive attitude, as well as taking on any challenges I send his way. He was instrumental in helping to implement the call center and learning all aspects of its operation. He is respectful to the team. He also leads by example in many ways, including customer service, professionalism, professionalism planning for time off, teamwork, etc. Bill is a hard worker who goes above and beyond to help his colleagues, students, and the staff that he works with every day. He strives to bring quality work to the work control office, and it definitely shows. He has a wonderful sense of humor. One notable thing is the amount of laughter and camaraderie that is generated from the work control center. It's wonderful to hear everyone talking, encouraging, laughing, and helping each other 
been a rough year because we didn't have that this past year, but we'll get back there. Um, this is primarily due to Phil's attitude and positive influence he shares, which then becomes contagious. He is quick to help anyone who may need it and does it with a smile, even if it's a stressful time. If anyone deserves recognition, it's certainly Phil. Thanks, Phil. This team would not run the way it does without his leadership. Dartmouth is lucky to have him working in this department. I'm really blessed to be a part of it and a part of this team. He's a strong, caring individual, and I am honored to work with him every day. Thank you, Phil. You deserve this. The 2020 Leadership Award goes to John Tanzi, Executive Director, the Frank J. Guarini Institute for International Education. It's been such a pleasure working with John in my time at Dartmouth. He's really everything you'd want in an executive director for off-campus programs. He's very current on the field. in the field. He's also um, very attuned to Dartmouth's traditions, and he works really well with faculty, which is often not an easy task. John understands the uh, importance of getting our students out into the world, of what it can mean for a student's perspective, uh, how it can be life-changing. But he's also keenly aware of what it takes to protect people's safety and their health and their overall well-being. John Tanzi, recipient of the Leadership Award, your leadership in responding to a pandemic which left students and faculty temporarily stranded overseas was essential for the safe return of our community members. John is just unflappable. Um, he looks at the cards that he's dealt, he adapts, he moves forward. Um, I know he's been especially out front on finding partners on the ground on sites of off-campus programs who can help faculty and students adapt in environments that are changing so fast. Uh, there's still so many open questions uh, about how off-campus programs are going to operate as we move forward. We are so lucky that we have John uh, to help us figure it all out. I know going forward, your leadership will be essential in getting our off-campus programs up and running safely again. He has had a particularly challenging year and he has faced those challenges with his characteristic sense of calm and patience and enthusiasm. Um, John is also a pleasure to travel with. Um, I've, I've met him at many places around the world and I always look forward to working with him. Uh, this award is richly deserved. Congratulations. Thank you for all that you do to provide educational opportunities for students and faculty to study abroad. The 2020 Diversity and Inclusion Award goes to Brandi Turner, Assistant Director of Strategic Initiatives, Hopkins Center for the Arts. Brandi serves as an Assistant Director of Strategic Initiatives for the HOP and in this capacity, she is leading us on developing practices and programs that assures the Hopkins Center is a place of welcome for all. Brandi Turner has been spearheading equity, diversity, and inclusion efforts at the Hopkins Center with immense dedication, grace, and organization. One of her major accomplishments is leading the HOP Fellows Program, which allows Dartmouth students to explore the field of arts administration and grow as leaders by taking on various responsibilities in HOP departments. She's been facilitating consistent staff-wide conversations about race, anti-racism, and inclusion, which have asked us to think deeply about our identities and how they impact our work and relationships with students and others on campus. During this uniquely challenging year, Brandy has created ways to connect our HOP staff virtually in raising awareness of unconscious bias and leading us through difficult conversations. These conversations have made each of us more mindful about our role in equity, diversity, and inclusion efforts in our jobs and in our greater lives. She represents the HOP in equity and inclusion efforts across the campus and across the nation as an influential member of leadership in a group from major university presenters who are also committed to change in their institutions and in the arts world more broadly. 
she is also developing a peer-to-peer -peer mentorship program to help build more pathways for students, particularly 24s, and others who might not have formal arts training to access arts experiences in welcoming and low-stakes ways. In all of these efforts, Brandy models listening, humility, compassion, and ongoing commitment. So thank you for joining me as we congratulate Brandy for receiving this award and for all of her contributions to the Dartmouth community. She is an incredibly inspiring colleague and person, and I'm so glad that she is being recognized with the Lone Pine Excellence Award in Diversity and Inclusion. Brandy, you're making a difference in the world, and we thank you for all you do every year. You make us all better, and we are so proud that this award has been supported by numerous nominations from your peers. We are thankful to be among your colleagues and friends and admirers. This award is much deserved and we congratulate you. Now I'd like to turn it back to President Hanlon to present the Sheila Culbert Distinguished Employee Award. We've got two more awards to announce, and the honor is all mine. They are, of course, the 2019 and 2020 Sheila Culbert Distinguished Service Awards, our highest staff honors. As you may know, the Culbert Award was established in 2008 by President Emeritus Jim Wright and his wife Susan in honor of a former Dartmouth employee. It recognizes a staff member who has made a difference to Dartmouth and to his or her colleagues, demonstrates a commitment to the highest work ethic and exemplary work performance, is both selfless and unwavering in dedication to the institution, and is relentless in pursuit of excellence. Our 2019 and 2020 Sheila Culbert Award recipients, Amy Hunt, and Terry Impey, exemplify all of those attributes and more. Amy, a student systems specialist in student affairs, is fiercely dedicated to improving technical operations and processes, and her efforts have broad ranging impact across the Dartmouth campus. She was nominated for the 2019 Culbert Award by staff in the Office of Res Life one of the many departments she supports for her welcoming and collaborative nature, her ability to problem solve, her patient nature, and her creativity. Specifically, Amy significantly improved the commencement and reunion housing process and is always listening to students and colleagues' needs and thinking outside the box to come up with solutions to meet them. Collaboration is a key word when talking about Amy Hunt and the work she does on campus. Amy is a student systems specialist in the systems and technology team within the Division of Student Affairs. To support the work of residential life, she serves as a link between our office, our housing database software company, the IT department on campus, as well as other campus partners to streamline communication between departments and to make sure all that we do solves problems and does not create issues with other systems. Amy is one of the easiest people with whom to collaborate. She asks great questions to best understand our goals, listens well when we describe what we need or problems we have, and provides great ideas for solutions. Amy's goal is to find the best possible solution to a problem or the best method to meet a need. She is eager to work with anyone to accomplish those goals and thus is always open to collaboration and new ideas. She is constantly going above and beyond her stated role to make sure we get the support that we need. In working with the housing office, she has learned the work we do and how we interact with students. Amy has helped us improve our reporting, our processes, come up with new ideas to improve our services and make dreams we've had into reality. She is fun, creative, generous of time and spirit and always looking out for us. What is most appreciated is Amy's willingness to think outside the box to come up with solutions. All of us who work with Amy are lucky to have her on our team. We could all learn a lot from Amy's teamwork and customer service. Congratulations, Amy. We are so pleased that you have won this award.
Terry Impey, our 2020 Colbert Award winner, is an operations manager in the real estate office and shares similar attributes. Terry is on call for the real estate office 24 seven and his commitment does not go unnoticed. His positive attitude, attention to detail, and commitment to caring for Dartmouth's physical assets while taking fiscal responsibility to heart have earned him the admiration of his supervisors and subordinates alike. Described as a kind, patient, purposeful leader, Terry motivated, motivates his union crew members to do their best work and did an exceptional job in managing more than 200 occupancy turnovers in Dartmouth-owned properties during the COVID-19 pandemic last year. Hi, my name is Dan Justinski. I'm the director of real estate for Dartmouth College. Today, I am overjoyed to introduce you to a truly exceptional member of our team, Terry Impey. Terry is a long-term Dartmouth colleague and became the real estate operations manager in 2012. Our department operates a full service real estate leasing office, providing residential and commercial leasing on behalf of Dartmouth and its endowment office. The properties consist of over 500 rental units for graduate students, staff and faculty, and more than 300,000 square feet of commercial office and retail space. All operations for these properties are led by Terry. He manages a dedicated team of eight SEIU maintenance personnel and a multitude of third-party contractors to complete the necessary maintenance. Terry's attention to detail across multiple and simultaneous projects, as well as day-to-day -day operations, require him to be available for emergency and contractor calls at all hours and days. In every way, he delivers exceptional reliability and accountability for Dartmouth. Residential unit turnovers occur over a very concentrated time period every summer. Terry's solid management of performance ensures our property managers are able to reduce the time it takes to release each vacated unit. In 2020, the real estate office was faced with over 200 residential turnovers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Reduced staff availability, fear of illness, and additional sanitizing responsibilities placed a significant strain on operations. Terry and his team still delivered rental units on time and in excellent condition. I want to personally thank Terry and congratulate him on this recognition. Well done. Amy, Terry, we cannot thank you enough for your leadership and dedication to your colleagues and the college and for exemplifying all of the characteristics we value most at Dartmouth. Congratulations to both of you on this well-deserved honor. It has been so inspiring to hear about the many contributions our staff have made. We know that staff across the college had to transition, pivot, and step up to many new challenges over the past year, which was not an easy task. So on behalf of all of us at Dartmouth, we thank you, our entire staff, for your efforts. And congratulations again to all of our 2019 and 2020 Lone Pine Excellence and Sheila Culbert Distinguished Employee Award recipients. I'd like to congratulate the 2019 and 2020 Lone Pine and Sheila Culbert Award winners. You have done so much over the past two years, and especially in this horrible year of COVID that we've you know, just gotten through. You and the other Dartmouth employees make it possible for Dartmouth to continue pushing our mission of education and research forward. I just can't thank you enough and just wanted to congratulate you once again and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Keep up the good work and I hope to see you in person on campus in the very near future. Greetings, I'm Elizabeth Smith, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. On behalf of all of the faculty in Arts and Sciences, I want to congratulate you all on your awards, the Lone Pine Excellence Awards, as well as the Sheila Colbert Distinguished Employee Award. And on behalf of the faculty, I also want to thank you for all that you do, particularly during this challenging time. The Dartmouth faculty could not be the outstanding teachers and scholars they are without your unwavering support. 
Your commitment to the mission of the college is essential for making that magic happen both inside and outside of the classroom. And for that, we are truly grateful. Over the course of the past year, I've sat in countless meetings, spending countless hours working with a dedicated group of staff and faculty from across Dartmouth to find our path forward and to help figure out how to operate and how to navigate our way through the pandemic. And I have been struck from the beginning at the dedication of this community to putting the students first and to doing everything it takes selflessly to enable our students to continue their education in a safe and supportive environment. And when I look at the individuals who are receiving the Lone Pine Awards this year and last year, it is remarkable to see the different branches of the campus you come from, the different areas you represent, and that shared commitment to supporting an extraordinary group of students. Thank you for your commitment, for your support, for your outstanding work, and for all that you have done this year and continue to do to make Dartmouth such a wonderful place to work and to study and to live. Congratulations.